going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we have the standard everything wrong with my car video, right? I feel like it's an obligation at this point. We should do the standard thumbnail right now, right? Okay, now that's out of the way. really actually gonna make this video or a video like this because the car's pretty clean um, and I was gonna focus on other things with this vehicle but you know as I just kind of do a an assessment of the car and I you know walk around and I kind of nitpick things and go over things with a fine tooth comb I, I find things and you know there's uh, nothing to hide here no sugar coating things so I thought I'd just go over a few things that kind of stand out to me a few things that I need to address immediately if not sooner a couple of things I've already addressed I'll just go ahead you guys probably already seen the paint correction video that I made with this the rear hatch and the hood were in pretty rough shape but they are silky silky smooth now as you can see they look good also did the roof which is looking pretty mint um, so there's just a couple of things that I'll I'll point out to you guys uh, right away um, I guess let's start inside the car so I was going to this will be a discussion in a future video too exactly now what I'm gonna do with this car but um, seats were one thing uh, that I wanted to do although these actually feel pretty good there's a problem with this one it is uh, it slides it's, it doesn't it doesn't connect it doesn't hook uh, so you can adjust the seat forward and back, but on this left side, uh, it doesn't clamp in or hook in to place. So if you hit the brakes really hard, you'll feel the, the left side of the seat slide forward to the car. Obviously, that's no good. Well, the interior is pretty decent, and pretty clean. Uh, seems to be in good shape. Stinks a little bit, so we're gonna address that obviously my wife needs to take care of that before she even ride in it she says uh, I may get a different steering wheel but there's nothing wrong with it except for the fact the airbag lies on because they didn't do a resistor or anything they just popped the steering wheel off and went for it um, the only other thing that is not necessarily interior but the clutch the clutch clutch has to be pressed all the way to the floor and there's only maybe an inch of movement before it grips uh, again when you release the pedal and that's that's no good I already ordered uh, a clutch master cylinder and slave and uh, we're gonna put some fresh fluid in there let's just pop the hood for just regular maintenance stuff I would have done anyway just getting an older car from somebody that you don't know what they've done or how they've treated it um, but you know feeling how the the clutch pedal fell he said oh it's a it's a stiff clutch it takes a little get used to well it's not a stiff clutch it's just the slave is messed up and if we're if we're doing this replacing the slave we might as well replace the master cylinder but look at this clutch fluid it's black so at a very minimum it needs to be bled uh, right away i could tell but knowing and seeing how black this fluid is it just needs to be flushed, everything all fresh and new. So like I said, that's already on order. And we'll be addressing that as soon as that stuff comes in. Um, that's one thing. Another thing, as you guys can see, it has a Canon cold air intake. Cool, cool, cool. Filter is old, it needs to be replaced. But the thing that's crazy to me, uh, I think it's a really cool design that the Z's have this opening here to pull cold air from the outside right in. But look, I, I do have the shroud here that directs it. I just pulled it out because I was looking for a new filter. Um, but you can see the air flows right in and hits the front of that filter. Obviously it's going to go into the box and be sucked into the, the larger portion of the filter, but it seems counterproductive to have the air run right into a metal plate on the front of that filter so we're going to get a cone filter with the uh, inverted nose or the inverted front uh, so it's going to suck air right into the front of the filter i'll tell you though to find finding a filter with a five inch flange to fit this can in 
is a little bit of a challenge. I did find an AFE uh, filter. It's about $100. I'm going to have to get that on order, get that replaced. This is kind of annoying. The strut bar is there, but we're missing some hardware. It looks like crap. That needs to be cleaned up. The whole engine bay needs to be cleaned up. Dash bars are cool, guys, but you can see that everything behind them with no protection really can take a beating. You can see how some of these fins are just getting hit by road debris and even hard rain can do that if there's no protection. So I've actually ordered some uh, some mesh uh, and I think I'm gonna try to rig something up. I'll get some mesh in here and in here in these two sections. We'll see how it looks, but I think it's gonna be an added layer of protection. We don't want stuff like that. Uh, just, you know, getting holes in it uh, would suck. This isn't something that's necessarily wrong with this, but something that needs to be addressed. I think we're just gonna get rid of the window washer fluid reservoir tank. Uh, it's just a big old thing that's just asking to be smoked on the interstate and lose all of our washer fluid. And this isn't gonna be a daily driver anyway, so if I'm ever in a situation that I need washer fluid, I'll just pull over and wipe the windows off. I'm, I'm just not gonna be driving this all that often to where I, I need that. So we're gonna pull that off right away so that just doesn't become an issue. And besides, it doesn't look good. We need we need some symmetry in here, so we're gonna get rid of that. I don't know how to say the name of these wheels. Aodon, Adon, Odon, I've heard it said different ways. Uh, they're sharp looking, I gotta admit, I do like them. Uh, they're pretty cheap. Uh, I don't know if people consider them reps or just cheap wheels. I, I don't know, I think you can get a set of them for like a thousand bucks, but that's not the problem. The problem is with this rear wheel here. Look at that. It's been curbed pretty good and it just bent the lip up. It didn't bend the wheel, it just bent this outer lip. And then in some areas here where it scuffed it up, it looks like they just ground it off to make it smooth. Um, but this wheel's gotta be replaced. I don't, I don't think it's even worth trying to fix it. It probably costs just as much to fix it as it would to get a new wheel. I think, you, I think this wheel, uh, 18 by 10 and a half, I wanna say this rear wheel, um, I think they're like 200 bucks. So I'll probably just end up replacing the damn thing. We're running some pretty aggressive camber, at least in the front. Uh, he said it was to clear the tires. Obviously that's probably why, but I think we have enough room to actually pop them out a little bit. And I actually want to raise the car slightly. It's pretty freaking low. Uh, the oil pants is asking to get smoked. So uh, I'm not sure how long I'll run the bash bar. We may look for a replacement front bumper. He said he had it, but it was cracked and I didn't even want to haul it around so I'll just get a new one if we need one the last thing oh never mind not the last thing uh, another thing is that it looks like it may have a slight leak in the rack so I'm not sure if we'll address that right away steering feels fine now um, but I noticed a little drip the other morning after I drove it back and left it in the garage overnight so I couldn't tell exactly where it's from but I haven't even honestly gotten this thing up on the stands yet I did jack it up a little bit to take a look under there. Um, I couldn't get that close of a look actually looking at the car, unfortunately. I don't know, there's some grass under there and that can happen being, driving a low car and going to shows and stuff. Uh, or it may have been in a ditch, who knows. But uh, the flex pipe on the Y pipe is toast. It's not, I shouldn't say that. It's, it's not leaking, but the, um, the weave I don't know if you can see it. The weave on the flex pipe is pretty much shredded. Uh, so it may have hit a couple of speed bumps. And speaking of speed bumps, uh, one of the test pipes, the driver's side test pipe, has a pretty good dent in it. So we gotta probably replace the test pipes. Um, what else? Uh, their rear diff bushing, of course. This one has to be failed as well. So I actually have a rear diff brace coming. Um, and we're going to try another sketchy repair with some windshield urethane, however, on this rear diff bushing because this one, this car doesn't have the LSD or the VLSD, I don't think. So I probably at some point will upgrade that and at that time I will do the rear diff bushing. Probably go, may, we may just go for a full race car and just do the solid rear diff bushing from Z1 for this, but until then we're doing the sketchy fix like we did on the Q50 and we are doing the rear diff brace, and those are already on order and on the way with the uh, Clutch Master and Slave and the stainless steel 
clutch line as well. I almost forgot these uh, B pillar piece trim pieces are shot, a little bit worn out. Looks like they've uh, locked the keys in the car a couple of times, so a little scuffed up here on the edges. These are easy enough. I'm just going to pop these off, sand them down smooth, sand these edges smooth, kind of sharpen up these edges again, and then paint them black, and they should look sharp again like brand new. But uh, it's just another one of those things, another little cleanup thing. There's some nicks and stuff here and there that I want to probably clean up, just touch that up so we don't have, run into any rust issues. Um, I already polished the tail lights. They were a little bit cloudy. I'm going to clean up the bash bar itself since we're going to have it on the car for at least a little while. Uh, I think this one was used when he got it. A little bit of a scuff here. I don't know if he got too low or something and it, it pulled the bumper in. And scuffed it up with the tire. Got a little bit of spidering. It's not that big of a deal. This was just going to be a kind of a race car, track car, beat em up car anyway. But gosh, so clean. Now, now it kind of I hesitate to uh, to continue down that path, but I really that's that's what I bought the car for, so that's what we're gonna do. But what I do need to decide, and maybe what you guys can help me decide, is because this interior is so clean, in such good shape, I mean, I wanna do seats anyway. I don't know if I'm, I'll just get some more Sparkos, um, but I wanna do a harness bar, uh, get some five-point harnesses and some nice seats, but do I strip this thing out? Do I just pull everything out, carpets and all, weight reduction, and lumber wagon, noisy <laughs> rattle trap. I can do door cards, uh, pull out the headliner, pull out all the trim, everything. Just gut it and make it a true race car. I, and I, it, this, I'm sure it's slower than the Q, I, you know, just because of what it is, but this thing rips. Maybe it's just the screaming, crazy, loud, raspy exhaust that makes it feel fast, but I don't know. I just took it on a couple little quick twisty roads outside of town and she feels, she feels pretty stealthy, pretty nimble. But let me know, should I gut this thing or keep keep the nice interior? It's already rattly as shit. It's a 20 years old, 20 year old car and all the plastic bits are rattling around. Spare tire in the back's rattling around. I'm, I'm gonna pull that crap. But do we go full out tin can or keep it pretty stockish? Let me know. A little exhaust rattle as well under the car that I can hear at idle or when at low RPM. Uh, so got to get under there make sure things are tightened up and not rubbing anything heat shields or rubbing on any frame rails or anything like that no big deal uh, just little things here and there that we got to touch up but that's really it guys and I don't want to jinx myself obviously it's an older car um, so there's bound to be some issues here and there um, but it seems aside from you know being wrecked at one point it seems to be in pretty decent shape and well taken care of after the fact I'll say that um, but there's still some things there's still some some little things here and there that we got to get to um, but I just want to let you know what we're working with up to this point um, but we're already getting stuff on order and we're gonna be taking care of some of the issues and doing some upgrades along the way so really pumped about this car so far guys uh, make sure you're subscribed and you like this video but also let me know what you're looking forward to seeing for this 350z obviously I want to enjoy the car and I have some plans for it myself but I want to create content that you guys are interested in watching so let me know down in the comment section below what you're wanting to see with this 350z and we'll see what we can do for you uh, some odds and ends maintenance things some upgrades some driving we got a lot going on for this car for 2022 and i'm excited to get into it so thank you guys very much for watching this video we'll see you in the next one